Greetings everyone. It is late night here on the hourglass, jitterbugs, night owls. You know what it is. The freaks comes out at night. <laughs> so we're just a few days from Love Day, Rose Day, and I wanted to see what is your person up to? What are their late night thoughts? For some of them, they're in a deep sleep right now. <laughs> Let's see what we could get out of the fortune cookie bowl. I'm going to give it a couple folds. We see healer. I see an L. That's plenty of messages. So we're going to take a few off the table. So we do have the keyword healer. So this could be a healer or right now they're healing from a situation. I'm even hearing from an incident. Don't worry about losing. If it, if it is right, it happens. Talent knows what to do. Tact knows when and how to do it. Tomorrow is a new day. You should begin it well and serenely. Serenely. <laughs> I almost said Serena. Love is the ultimate law of life. All right. So obviously your person is healing through love. They're trying not to worry about losing or losing hope. Maybe, you know, they really think about tomorrows a lot. They're all about tomorrows. Some of you, they could be working on some sort of talent, a brand, but they lack tack hair. I'm also hearing they have a knack uh, to really, I'm hearing charm you. They're very charismatic. Is that the word I'm looking for? Hmm. I feel like when they get up, they try to begin their day on a positive foot or a positive note. But somehow worry sets in about losing something. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how they're looking at the relationship, connection, or attachment with you at this time. Love yourself first. Yeah. I always get this card when someone has learned a very deep lesson about love, how to conduct yourself in a love situation. So right now your person is really trying to love on themselves. It says self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So your person may be trying to have some respect for themselves right now. Like I said, some deep healing has a lot to do with love or you know, this could be that they are kind of shook that they have to do some sort of healing when it comes to self-love. Maybe they were going about life thinking that they were doing a lot of things out of love for themselves. This person could actually be a spiritual healer and they didn't know. Or they're learning a very valuable lesson that they can heal themselves by loving on themselves. All right. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over. What's up? Separation. So this was a jumper card. We're going to keep that. And stay optimistic about your love life. Engagement. I feel like for some of you, you're engaged to someone else. Or this person may be worried that you may uh, get engaged. This could be like marriage proposal or you may be involved with someone else during this separation. They're trying to stay positive. They're trying not to worry. Like I said, they get up and try to start their day on a positive note. Some of them, they're paying homage to some sort of deities or they're praying creativity and inner peace. I feel like they're looking for little ways, could be simple ways, and how to get back to themselves. Some of you, this separation, this healing work, I really feel like this person's heart chakra is opening and it's like, like compressed. What is this A? I'm hearing love yourself, love life. So maybe they're trying not to think about the love situation between you and them. They're really trying to think about uh, creative ways and how they could respect themselves more. But you are on their mind. What is this all about? Luminosity. And we have the gardener. So your person may be in the gardener's energy. They could be working with the elements here. 
they're spending a lot of time in nature or natural stuff they could be into holistic remedies or holistic i'm, I'm getting like vitamins healing energy here as well so let's say that you're like the best thing that ever happened to this person and throughout everything i feel like you always kept this aura like very helpful willing to help this person grow or you're growing as well and that's helping this person to heal i'm hearing that this person is trying to get connected to their feminine or they were too connected to their feminine energies Some, something about patience. They love your patience. I'm hearing that they hear your call through the soul or through the heart. I keep touching my chest like this guy in the freaking picture. I feel like your person thought that the way how they were living their life was some sort of strength. But it was not. They're now having to heal. They see you everywhere. I'm getting that they also pray or... They're still very hopeful that something could come out. Something very positive could come out between you and them. They're building in the gardener's energy. Something is taking root. And I feel like it's the love that they feel for you. It's taking root. Like, I feel like you're someone that never switched up on this person. Your glow. I'm getting that you glow. I'm also seeing like a... a a death moth or a hummingbird, dragonflies, hey. I feel like you have something very timeless but still mod modern about you. You're someone that I keep I keep touching the cards. So maybe they really want to touch you or when they're around you, they like to touch you. The support, the nurture, the maturity. You're like all natural. Maybe you, you know, everything is natural on you. You may wear makeup, but it accentuates your features. I get that instead of micromanaging this person, you kind of let them be themselves. It's like you put a lot of effort into patience, privacy, and space. You're like, I don't know, you, I mean, I know you have bad days, bad hair days, whatever, stressful days, but you look damn good. And I feel like this person is trying to uh, get into this energy of responding very confidently to you. So I don't know if when they're with you, they're like lost for words, speechless. They feel like you compliment them. You have a natural shine. I'm also getting that you never switched up. I keep getting like, you never switched up on me. And I don't want to say, <laughs> you guys, my family is home. It's pretty late. My son is a gamer. So he's like going off uh, in the other room. I feel like your person, they're trying not to be so critical but to know that they're separated from someone like you. I'm hearing like a woman like you or a man like you. Hmm. I guess whatever they're learning here, you it's like it's reaffirming your boundaries towards them. And instead of micromanaging this person or even judging this person, you just give them a lot of space. And that's giving them even more ability to love on themselves. This space, this separation. It's almost like you have to be absent for this person to foc on, focus on what they need to heal. To heal heart. To heal the hearts or to heal the heart. They find you as a blessing. They, have, they are grateful for the lessons here. They're becoming stronger. They're even learning to be more patient. They're gaining a lot of self-respect person. And I feel like they want a healthy relationship or they want some sort of healthy friendship with you. I'm also getting that they don't want to be friends anymore. It's a lot of mutual respect here. So let's get another deck. Uh, should we get another deck? Yeah, the heart chakra was on the bottom of this deck. So definitely. Heart chakra awakening, shifts going on here. Like I felt compressed. This person is starting to let love in. 
and it's like they have to do it without you i'm hearing don't worry don't worry and i'm also getting don't worry be happy what is this tomorrow is a new day so maybe that's the, the shift that's happening currently. When they wake up, they're not in a bad mood. They feel like they're in a positive note. They don't want to lose you. But at the same time, they feel like if they do, it was meant to be. What? I can't be friends with you no more. <laughs> they remember the first time uh, that you showed them kindness this person also had an opportunity to share with you how they really felt, but because they were not loving on themselves confidently, they held back. Some of you may have felt um, a little bit pushed away from this person. I feel like you may look younger or you are younger than this person and they feel like they should be knowing the things that you do. I'm also getting that because of their um, poor relation or their poor connection to their feminine side, uh, it's like it brung up something here. You could know this person from a childhood, or you guys often, or you guys often have past life childhood memories. Like you think about this person, and when you think about them, they're often presented as a child, and you are. I'm also hearing that you were very special as a child. I'm getting like self-reliant. Or you yourself endured a lot of separation. Alone time. This person may not be accustomed to the alone time. Ooh, they can't stop like feeling your energy through thoughts, through memories. We have the strength card. Very strong soulmate energy. I'm hearing Rihanna. You're the one mm -hmm. that I think about all day. It's like they're wailing out or they're roaring. Maybe they're calling out for you because I thought, I thought that I was getting a message that you call out to them somehow. But this person is calling out to you. And it's like you're smug about it. Some of you, you got tired of this telepathic communication. Some of you are like wary of it now. It's like I can't get through to you. Before, you would hear the call and come. And now it's like they're calling, they're calling, waiting, and this is no you. You're very talented and you have tact. Wow, you impress this person. I'm hearing it happens. It happens. What is going on with this person late night? Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles. They're going back and forth. There is a lot of energy uh, going up and down. So energy may be fluctuating in this person. We have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. This is a spirited kind of love. This is a passionate kind of love. They are getting ready to balance themselves in a new emotional cycle. The tower may have happened. Their ego could have been, or what they thought was self-love. Because I feel like the way how they were living, they swore that it was reflecting that they cared about themselves but that tower, that illusion, that lie has been broken down. It's been collapsed. Their, I'm hearing their ivory tower came down. I don't know why I'm seeing Conan. When he was in that room of mirrors. And I'm hearing the young princess called Bumbata. Bumbata! Bumbata! And then how that place all collapsed when Conan came for her. The Beast. Okay, so I don't know why I'm getting Conan. Maybe you're a huge Conan fan. My son was when he was a little boy. So I could tell you the movie uh, from scene to scene. Because he would watch it as like a sleep time movie. But anyway, when the young princess was... She's a virgin. And they took her to sacrifice to raise some sort of beast uh, deity. And I kind of felt it hair. Like a sacrifice hair being made or an offering to a deity. But anyway, 
And Conan, at the, t- at the moment of the sacrifice, Conan kills the stepmother or the mother of the virgin princess. And the beast, you know, it it rises up, but it's like deformed or some shit because the, the stepmom or the mom, she ain't no virgin. So it's like, but I'm seeing that whole scene. I don't know why. I'm also getting that your purity... And when I say pure, I don't mean like you're a saint, but the way how you continue to be yourself, it's something very pure and honest about that. And I feel like this person, they cry out for for that. There's a lot of things that's falling apart and they could be like, like, I'm getting like they're mixed about it. They're over it, but then they're still wailing out from the suffering it's like a ton of bricks collapsing on this person or a wall fell on them. Oh my. So I'm, I'm getting that this person is really working hard to be balanced, to offer you this cup. This is what they're thinking about bringing you this romance. They fe- they want you to have faith, even though there's a lot of disruptions with the tower. Like, no lie, this is a lot of tower energy in this person's life. They want you to continue to have faith or continue to be trust in spirit as all of these um, disruptions happen. I do feel like they want to tell you the truth. They want to take action. Okay, so your person, it's almost like before... It's like, I'm not going to let the past hold me back. I'm not going to let how I felt that moment hold me back. So when I tell you the truth or when I tell you that I want love, I want romance, I want to be able to follow suit with the Ace of Wands. I feel a lot of weary fatigue energy, like dizziness, compression in the chest area. Love has came through their heart, their heart. And the crown chakra is like, it's shot, it's shattered and it's like light forcing through the cracks or something. I'm also again that they may be working on a business that I mentioned that, that they're working on some sort of talent or brand. This is a start of a new business, a startup. Maybe they want to remind you or they hope that you would remember. I'm getting that this is a person that feels really special. They feel really lucky when people remember small things about them. So they're probably wondering if you remember the business that they wanted to start. They may want to tell you or give you good news about that. This love has been with them from the moment they were with you here. And it was like... um. Not very, not childish, but it was very like goofy and awkward, almost like that first day of school and you're sitting at the playground and then there's that one kid that come over and talks to you and he's like, I don't know what to say because I'm not sure you're going to like me. So you just sit in silence. So maybe you guys had like really comforting silence. This is a new passion. Oh my gosh. So being that this person is loving on themselves, there's a new spring of love and passion. Oh, okay. So I'm also getting that they're thinking very sexually too as well. Like they're moaning. I don't know if they're masturbating here, but there's a lot of like touching of the chest and like soft moans. Like rubbing on the chest, somebody getting hot or something, and just, they just rubbing on their chest. No hesitation. They don't want any more hesitation or disruption. Oh shit. Hmm. I feel like a a piece of their pride or what they know their pride to be has collapsed, and we can't get rid of pride or ego. We could learn how to work with it we could learn how to like catch it check it and do better and i think that that's what this person is trying to do right now i'm hearing courage they they need that courage 
to take action. I feel like you may have tolerated too much or they feel that way. Like they dished out too much and you tolerated too much and you're good with the separation. Okay, so you guys know what I'm going to say because we have the towel with the strength card and that could talk about um, a life, a way of living because of low self-esteem, because of inadequacy, all of that is coming down. I also feel like your person is giving up on people that was benefit benefiting off of this low self-esteem. They could even be cringing. So if they were going back and forth with a group of people or a way of life, they are like cringing right now. Uh, the fact that they allow these people to treat them that way and chose those people out of inadequacy of you. So it's like cringy thoughts. Oh my gosh. So I feel like somebody's trying to block this. Someone in this person's life created this separation or they're blaming someone. And I feel like when they have that insecure, that dark, insecure thought of losing you, they try to tell themselves, well, if it's right, then it's going to happen. So they're trying to accept what they think you might do. Oh my gosh, this person feels like a complete failure. And they're trying so hard to stay hopeful and they're trying so hard to get this courage to make a move. But it's like they know that they need to rebuild. I don't know if they lost something here for real. Heartache. I'm also getting some of you may be divorced. This may be someone you divorced and you guys are like, um, I don't know. Some of you may be in a legal separation or you divorce someone and you guys are now separated, living in different homes. Some of you, you may be just now coming out of that funk and this person is now suffering. It's like suddenly it all hits them like, wow, this is really happening. I'm also again that this person, I don't know, but somebody went through a lot of bankruptcy and a lot of failed businesses, the Diablo. I am getting a lot of sexual energy, a lot of being naughty. I don't know if you was sexual with this person, but it's like, even though they feel all of these emotions, they still want to be very sexual with you. They still want to be romantic. I'm also getting like there's a lot of anxiety about Rose's day. It's almost like um, what they believe about that holiday is now changing because they have someone special that they want to like do it with. Like they want to celebrate this day with. Mm. Oh my gosh. This person is so worried that you're going to end things for good. So even if you're in separation, they may have thought or they saw that you were very hopeful about getting back. But now it's like, what if he or she suddenly ends it? And then with the tower being here with the ace of cups and this note that says, don't worry about losing. If it's right, it happens. And with the tower being here, it's like a complete loss, but turns out for the better. So whatever they're losing, they feel it's right, but that does not spare them of the cringe, of the hurt, of despair, let down here. Hey? They're becoming balanced for this love between the both of you. I'm also getting that they're trying to avoid a tragedy. They're trying to avoid something else from happening. Maybe uh, from this whole thing collapsing with you. A lot of sexy vibes. They're very turned on by you. You make them feel romantic and touching on themselves. Maybe that's why I felt that touching on the self almost like, um, I don't know what you call that, but it's like when somebody stands in front of the mirror and they're like, really touching and loving on themselves and they're getting aroused by looking at themselves in the mirror i don't know who that may be this is like beast energy <laughs> oh my goodness 
let's see what written messages they have to tell you some of you this person actually has dark suicidal thoughts it's almost like they're thinking what if i wasn't alive what if i wasn't around because this failure's energy is hey some of you they let a lot of evilness like i said something hey cause that separation as well and it could be these same people that they chose or this lifestyle that had those set of people with i'm hearing that they decided to stay with the circus now they feel like a wolf because it's like they're shift shift shifting into animals so they may relate to animals or music a lot but right now they feel like they were tricked into a circus and they were like that entertaining lion and now that they think about it it was like a puppet and a string they were being like manipulated and commanded for like treats or something so they're figuring out like that was not i did not choose these people out of love i choose these people because i felt inadequate to the viewer so they're totally rebuilding and I feel like now they're going to work with their ego. I'm also getting that they are learning not to react, but to come from a place of love. I'm getting a lot of message about wickedness. Hey, I'm getting that the devil doesn't chase you when you're on the wrong path. So your person got off of the wrong path. And the devil or temptations or their demons, their demons are lying to them. And every time they feel like that creeping up on them, those dark thoughts or those dark truth, they think about you and the, the fate like washes over those dark thoughts. Do you get what I'm saying? They're no longer restricting themselves because of their ego. But I could see that they really want to get naughty. Maybe it's like, they want to make love to you. Yeah, they want to be bad. They want to release. Ew. <laughs> we have bad mind, yeah. Um, the Diablo is there to reflect that. And I feel like these people that's around your person, they act very religious. And they act like they're covered from whatever they're doing here so they may wear like religious jewelry or something but they have uh, a ill-minded vengeance energy around them or attached to them and i feel like they it's like um a werewolf turning in like it's turning and then it's, it's trying to like control that instinct to turn into a wolf and like rip people to shreds or hunt their enemy down and rip their head off it's like they're trying to think about you to calm down that instinct they're definitely doing a lot of shadow work hey they are walking through uh a lot of these beliefs that they had they're releasing a lot of beliefs some of them i feel like they're digging a hole and putting stuff in it what is that? Maybe that's some sort of ritual that they're doing. There's a deity's head. Okay, so guess what? There's a deity's head. That looks like Pan. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But the Diablo sometimes look like Pan too. But anyway, I'm getting that your person may suspect that people were doing something to their name or I don't know. I'm seeing somebody digging a hole like root work. Some sort of root work was done. I'm seeing like a bottle in the ground and it's like whatever that was it was depleting your person maybe there was some sort of energetic cord attached to your person and being that they were um inadequate it was like a rip in their or in their aura in their energy field and these people kind of plugged in um their cord or their like strings and had your person weak like they literally think that they drink something and they started to feel like weird after that. Like they had no control over their body with the two of pentacles and the Diablo. What? Bankruptcy was happening. A lot of failures. Something around them. And I feel like they're figuring it out. That's where the healer's energy came in. Remember that keyword from the beginning? Because their spirit is fighting this. 
You know, it's only for so long you could keep the wool over somebody's eyes before literally their soul, their spirit starts to rise up. So this is a rising. Wow. I'm hearing there's a natural mystic blowing in the air by Brother Bob Marley. Yeah, I feel like the people that was doing this to your person, they're going to be so shocked that it's no longer working on them. <laughs> envious people. Okay, so they have a lot of envious people around them. This person may be some sort of anointed one. They may be the anointed one. Like I'm seeing the woman or the maiden and the lion. Full power. So it's like they needed you to, to do what you did so they could understand their feminine energy, not just this brute force of the ego, of resistance, this like shallow image of strength. It was all bogus. It was false. I'm also getting that they're no longer listening to the stories that they were telling themselves. It was the stories that they were telling themselves. Low. They were like this close to suicide or there was some suicide in their family or there was a close friend that committed suicide and that never really or a close friend that died and that really it they never really got over that. All right, so we have five steps back. So this is a stalemate or there are some delays. This is why a separation is hey. They're worried about the delays, you guys. If you could have people in the back talking, I am so sorry. Everybody knows I'm recording, but it's like, it's Saturday night and it's late. Uh, we have some people that came from the club and whatever that's downstairs. We have in training, yeah. They're getting a spiritual um, rebuilding Hey, I don't know what you call that. It's like um recalibration or... It's just I'm picking up the pieces and I'm putting them back differently. So your person is getting stronger. They're becoming more practical instead of just like living in fear, being told what to do. It's like they they didn't understand their own power. Oh my gosh, something is in progress, yo. They have the light. They have the spirit running through them plus love. Mm-hmm. You are the one. That's why I heard it loud and clear by Rihanna. You're the one that I think I'm all day. <laughs> You're the one I miss when everyone is around on my mind constantly, day and night. Well, shucks, right? I don't want to compete. So this is someone that feels in their own way that things should be given to them. They have like this regal, majestic, majesty air. Eh? But that's what got them caught up in the first place because they were just accepting things that was coming to them and that was a lot of bad-minded energy so your person is possibly learning a valuable lesson about just taking everything that's given to them versus actually getting out there and doing the work because when we're in that gardener's energy we have to work the soil and that soil could talk about our soul you know the cultivating the soil in the relationship Hmm. Let's talk about the lucky numbers real quick. We have 51, 60, tw uh, 6. So we have 6 twice going on here. I think the Diablo is 6 as well. 22, 36, 46, 23. So your person could be in this master builder's energy where they have to rebuild everything that fell apart. They're taking up the pieces. That's where they're at right now. They're just taking up all the scattered pieces, kind of looking at things, putting it back together. It's going to be a different picture, right? 14, 30, 28, 25, 24, 1, 52, 13, 11, 28, 41, 25. So we have 25 and 28 going twice here. I don't know. I'm also hearing 11, 11. You're my 11, 11. So both of you may have woken up each other at different points in your life. Some of you, you may have embraced the separation, kind of figured it all out. And now you're just embracing your alone time or your life. I feel like they bought you like a, a, a jewelry or they have jewelry that they never gave you. Pearls or a locket, something that they have to give you or they gave you something. 
or you gave them something i'm belching like crazy all right so let's see um what they what else they want to tell you written messages and we're going to close this up get back to my drinky poo <laughs> my trauma got in the way and we all have some sort of baggage going on we all have something that we need to practice healing from so it's like you can't really point fingers but it is kind of like gut-wrenching how people handle themselves when trauma is involved so you know they could be cringing again looking back at the way how they reacted how they acted i'm like oh my gosh i really have trauma they were like oblivious maybe they thought that nothing was wrong with them and the way how they were living their life was just fine until they realized that they were in a fucking circus they were in a, a sand castle or a class castle or something yeah you see how that card snapped back at us so the transmission is actually over because you know as a reader when i see repeating cards it's not really extra confirmation even though it may be for you but for me it's telling me that this message is now over obsess with the love in my heart for you yeah i could see it I could see it. They love that feeling because it, it fills them up. It reminds them that life is for, for the living. So that love that they feel for you may be some sort of light or hope as they go through a lot of this darkness, a lot of faith in their fears, a lot of faith in their demons. They have addictions here as well. Again, all of this is now being shown to them because now they actually have somebody very special that gives them a reason to clean up, gives them a reason to be better. I feel like before they were totally content with whatever life they were living, but they felt unseen. It's like that came with the territory, so I dealt with it. Oh, okay. Well, now you have the whole deck. How are you going to play your cards, sir? Because they're in the gardener's energy. So they're in progress, hey? Let me see what else I could dig up because the Diablo is like that that face is like screaming at me. Hold on. So it's a spiritual construction that your person is going through and they may be feeling very lonely. But again, this is something that they have to do. Some of you, this person has been distracting themselves for a long time. So I'm getting radiance, radiance energy. You bring or you exude a lot of happiness. I also get that your personal habits and your power of intention, it takes this person by storm. I'm also getting that your energy or your example is helping them to reclaim their, their uh, radiance. That's why I said the feminine energy, because radiance would be feminine. So nourishing, nurturing habits are being made. This person is on a different timeline right now. Okay, hold on. Let me chances and choices <laughs> so loss mm -hmm. so they may feel like they're half good and half bad like angel and demon they're in their deviant dark side hmm. some of you with the two of pentacles and the tower even though there's a lot of um I'm hearing catastrophe and chaos. There's perfect harmony and balance here that your person is going through. Oh, so they're trying to harmonize. They're trying to harmonize their holy and unholy spirits. Okay. So the addictions is what they were doing to avoid the pain. Overspending, ego inflation, sex, mindless sex, distance. To hide what they're really doing like like really harmful things you know getting in harmful situations because there's a lack of feeling it's always just pain yeah i think i'm gonna leave it there i don't want to take too long plus i have to get back to the party downstairs get my drinky boo <laughs> i hope you guys are enjoying your saturday night you know all my viewers are timeless so they're in the realm of shadow they're in the realms of shadow right now. They're very drawn. This feels forbidden, but they're very drawn to this 
love it's help is convincing them that self-love is not about casual sex it's not about um pretending to be happy it's becoming um attached to the hurt locker so they opened up the hurt locker you guys instead of using things to like numb that out they opened their love locker for this love they opened their hurt locker for this love so they feeling heavy they could be getting encounters by evil spirits. I'm telling you, somebody's doing this to them. Somebody's the puppetehe. Maybe they thought it was you, and that was exposed that it wasn't. So they know who it is, and that's why they're cringing. Some of you, you have like this look, like you're sad, but you're hot as fuck. Like sad eyes or watery eyes, but you're hot as fuck. So I'm getting that your person for some of you may have been pushed plunged into a reckless situation hey and they're not happy about it they see your beauty and all is dark oh my so right now they're pulling their own selves out of the darkness that's what you need to know that this person is pulling themselves out of the trauma that got in the way they could be setting some boundaries hey accepting the shadow some of them may even be going to to trauma therapy like for real and that's giving them a sense of faith so yeah jump down in the description box below if you want to claim this reading sponsor donate hit that love jar thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm sending you the power of a thousand sunrises and yeah like subscribe share 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 and I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.